एंड ऑसम गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू एवरी वन फाइन ग्रेट सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर साइंस क्लास आफ्टर यूर सेकेंड यूनिट सेकेंड एग्जाम्स सेकेंड यूनिट एग्जाम्स एंड नाउ वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद नेक्स्ट सेलेबस दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन वी हैड कम्प्लीटेड बिफोर एग्जाम्स and now we will be starting chapter number 17 that is sound right all of you know that what is sound sound is made by vibrating things vibrating means what moving to and fro the sounds we make while speaking or while singing for example they are produced by vibrating flaps of skin inside our throat right so sounds we make while singing or singing uh, while speaking or singing for example they are produced by vibrating flaps of skin inside our throat and these flaps of skin they are called vocal cords right you can feel them move if you touch your throat lightly while you speak so dear students when you are speaking you can touch your throat lightly and you can feel them move vocal cords are there these flaps of skin they are called vocal cords and whenever you are speaking you can feel them move if you touch your throat lightly while you speak all mammals birds and frogs make sounds with the help of vocal cords all mammals birds and frogs they make sounds with the help of vocal cords the buzzing sound made by insects comes from their vibrating wings the buzzing sound by insects insect sounds buzzing sounds they come from their vibrating wings the hum of a car as it is turned on is made by the vibrations of engine you can actually feel the vibrations you can also feel the vibrations of a speaker if you touch it lightly so whenever you speak you can touch your throat these are called basically vocal cords are there so all the things which are which all the things around us they make sound any sound you can take suppose for example we have taken about birds frogs animals they make sounds with the help of their vocal cords and the buzzing sound made by insects they come from their vibrating wings and the sound of a car how it is turned on is made by the vibrations of the engine and you can actually feel the vibrations you can also feel the vibrations of a speaker if you touch it lightly so here two pictures are given on the left side speaker is there and you can touch the speaker if you want to feel the vibrations of a speaker and on the right side one boy is there he is touching the throat while speaking vocal cords you can feel next activity is there this activity is related to how we hear stretch a balloon over one end of a cardboard or plastic tube tube you can take on which aluminum foil is wrapped or tubes in which you get shuttle cocks and secure it with a rubber band stick a thin stripe of paper on the balloon rubber in the shape of a j or a v speak into the open end of the tube and touch the stripe lightly the vibrations of the sound you make will make the air in the tube vibrate this will make the balloon move making the paper stripe move you will feel the stripe vibrate this is very similar to what happens inside our ear so this activity is related to how we hear we will be doing later on 
Next, when something vibrates, the air around it starts vibrating. When something vibrates and the air around it starts vibrating, that means the molecules of air start moving to and fro. And when these vibrations reach our ear, the air in the tunnel of ear starts vibrating, just as the air in the cardboard tube does. And the vibrations of the air make the eardrum vibrate the way the balloon rubber vibrates. The vibrating eardrum makes the bones connected to it to it vibrate the way the paper on balloon vibrates. Then the vibrations reach the coil tube attached to the bones of the ear. Finally, the nerve attached to the tube carries the vibrations to the brain. So whatever the activity they have given, it is related to us. It is related to sounds that we hear, right? How this process happens, it is explained here. Next is again one activity is there. How external ear helps. So place an earphone of a radio or music player playing at normal volume some distance away from your ear. You will barely hear the sound. But now cup your hand around your ear and place the earphone as shown in the picture you can see. Does this amplify the sound or make it louder? You have to check. Right? The external part of our ear is called the pinna. This part, see in the picture, it is called pinna. It acts like the cupped hand in the activity. Only mammals have external ears. Birds have ear holes under their feathers. Lizards and frogs have naked eardrums that you can see. Fish and snakes, they feel vibrations through their body, while bees feel them through their feelers. So, external part of our ear, outer part you can say that is called pinna and it acts like the cupped hand in the activity. Here in this picture, we have made like a cup, our hand like a cup. So, external ear, external part of our ear that is called pinna, it is like the cupped hand in the activity. Only mammals have external ears, birds have ear holes under their feathers. And lizards and frogs, they have naked eardrums that you can see. Fish and snakes, they feel vibrations through their body, while bees feel them through their feelers. Next is direction of sound. Direction. Activity. Try this with a few friends. Take turns at guessing and see who is better at it. Blindfold one person and let him or stand in the middle of the room. Stand around this person in a large circle. Let anyone of others make a soft sound. And ask the blindfolded person to guess the direction from which sound is coming. Next, ask the person to stuff one ear with the cotton. Is it more difficult to guess the direction of sound with one ear closed? So, dear students, you can perform this activity with your parents, with your brothers and sisters at home also. So that you can... you should know about direction of sound you can make one person blindfolded and uh, remaining persons can make a circle and ask blindfolded person he will he or she will guess the direction from which sound is coming next and you have to ask the same persons to stuff one ear with the cotton and you have to check is it more difficult to guess the direction of sound with one ear closed Having two ears helps us judge the direction from which sound is coming. The ear closer to the sound hears it before the ear farther away the sound. It is quite obvious that the ear which is closer to the sound hears it before the ear farther away from the sound. And the brain makes calculations from this time difference to tell us the direction of the sound. Next. Musical instruments. Musical instruments, they are of different types. In some, like guitars, sitars and tanpuras, sound is made by the vibration of their strings. Here is a way of making a single string instrument. An Indian string instrument called Ektara also has a single string. See in the picture, they have a single string only. Related to this one activity is 
again one activity is there stretch a rubber band across a pencil box push an eraser under the rubber band this way you will be able to change the length of the rubber band by moving the eraser and musicians they can change the length of strings by pressing them pluck the rubber band and listen to the sound made by it the harder you pluck the string the larger the vibrations will be there and this will make the sound become louder you can make the sound produced by the rubber band change in another way and move the eraser to change the length of the rubber band the shorter the length becomes the sharper or shriller the sounder will be so this activity is related to like how we can sound like in musical instrument and uh, uh, talk about if you will talk about other musical instrument in tablas mridangams and drums sound is made by vibration of a stretched skin and the skin is stretched over a hollow body made of metal wood or clay so see here drum is there its body is made up of wood and the skin is stretched over a whole body made of metal wood or clay and make your own drums and you can see how the sound produced changes with the size of the drum here stretch pieces of balloon over the mouths of cans and tins of different sizes you can also experiment with cardboard boxes and tubes strike the drums with a pencil or a stick and listen larger drums will make a deeper sound and in wind instruments like flutes sound is produced by vibrations of their inside a hollow tube you can cut drinking straws to different lengths and blow into them this will need some practice it will be easier to make a jal tarang so one activity is again one activity is there line up a few glasses of the same size pour different amounts of water into the glass you can strike them with the pencil and you can check how the sound changes as you fill the glasses with more water so you can perform this activity at home so read this chapter carefully and try to solve back exercise and try to find out question answers we will be doing question answers and back exercise in next class thank you god bless you